Good evening, everyone. This is Pastor Sean with Christians Unite, sponsored by Carly Films. And this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be reading 1 John chapter 3. More in love and hatred. For this is the message you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Do not be like Cain, who belonged to the evil one and who murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own actions were evil and his brothers were righteous. Do not be surprised, my brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love each other. Anyone who does not love remains in death. Anyone who hates a brother or sister is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life residing in him. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need, but has pity on them, how can you love of the love of God be in that person. Dear children, let us not love with the words of speech, but with the actions and truth. This is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts to the rest in his presence. If our hearts condemn us, we know that God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Dear friends, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God and receive from him anything we ask because we keep his commandments and do what he what pleases him and this is his commandment to believe in the name of his son jesus christ and to love one another as he commands us the one who keeps god commands lives in him and he in them and this is how we know that he lives in us we know by the spirit he gave us so this section of chapter three talks about um, knowing that you are in Christ. You will show love and compassion to others and you will be willing to sacrifice yourself for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Meaning that the love that you have is true and not just words that you say. And then we'll go ahead and read the first part of chapter 3. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it, it did not know Him. Dear friends, now that we are children of God and what we will be has not yet been made known, but we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. All who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. Everyone who sins breaks the law. In fact, sin is lawlessness. But you know that, the, that he appeared so that he might take away our sins, and in him is no sin. No one who lives in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. No one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's sees seed remained in them. They cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. This is how we know who the children of God are and who the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is not God's child, nor is anyone who does not love their brother and sister. So these verses are very specific. So when you are committing a sin and you continue to do it with no remorse and there's no conviction, 
and that's your you you claim to be that lifestyle and you see nothing wrong with it and you just continue to do it that's what this is talking about now if you feel remorse and you repent of those sins that is a sign that god is in you thank you for listening to this edition of reading through the bible please consider donating to our ministry and community have a wonderful day and god bless